An investigation into the scandal-ridden East Branch of the Health Services Union has uncovered enormous pay rises and questionable credit card purchases. For more, our political correspondent Melissa Clark joins us now from Canberra. And of course, Melissa, we've heard so much about this union and this report is probably even worse than we first thought. Well, what we now have is a, a lot of detail that has been collated by barrister Ian Temby QC uh, and Dennis Robertson, who is an accountant. And these two were asked by the HSU's governing council to look into all of these allegations uh, and see what recommendations they could make once some of the uh, uh, more salacious claims started coming to light. Now, this report has made its way to the ABC and the details are quite shocking. In some part, they do rely largely on uh, the evidence of Cathy Jack who is a, a factional rival of Michael Williamson. And Michael Williamson, as the uh, former General Secretary and Treasury of the HSU, uh, is the one who comes in for most scrutiny in this report. It makes a large number of claims about uh, companies that he owns getting uh, contracts for union business that were never went to tender. And we're talking in the order of millions of dollars. The, they uh, accuse him of having his businesses housed in union properties, uh, but out not paying any rent. They accuse him of having uh, at least five of his family members having amongst the highest paid jobs within the health services union. Uh, there's also accusations about Michael Williamson uh, using a, an architect to do work on a holiday home for himself personally, but being paid for by HSU funds. So there are a plethora of claims here uh, that are very damning against Michael Williamson. He hasn't responded to these claims uh, either to Ian Temby or to the ABC's attempts to speak to him. Him. But what we do have is very forensic detail from Ian Temby QC outlining precisely his concerns, not only with these allegations of misuse and cronyism, but also the lack of any sort of form, formal uh, processes in place when it comes to financial management, even simple things like keeping track of orders and having orders written down uh, are things that seem to be absent within the health services union. Where does it go from here, Melissa? What's the impact going to be? Well, given we've already heard so much about the dysfunction within the health services union, it's unlikely that even these revelations are going to be much more damaging, given that uh, I don't think the HSU uh, and some of those involved could necessarily be have their reputation lowered in the eyes of some of the public. Such uh, has been the detail and information and scandal surrounding it so far. Uh, but what it will do is add to that uh, pressure that is there on the union movement to be more accountable. The federal government says it's already moved to tighten up for uh, union uh, regulations. The union movement itself says it's always looking at ways to improve. But uh, what we have is the government trying to make sure that the public see this as uh, a one-off, that this isn't endemic across the workplace relations uh, system and across the union movement. And that's the message that the workplace relations minister, uh, Bill Shorten, a former union head himself, was trying to put forward when he spoke to 730 last night. Everyone is disappointed by the reports emanating from the HSU East branch. I haven't seen the particular report you're referring to, but the government's own regulator, Fair Work Australia, has concluded an investigation. What the government's done since we've heard all these matters is put in an administrator. We've also tightened up union regulation for all unions. But again, in answer to your question, I want to stress the vast majority of Australian trade unions, trade unionists, people representing unions, uh, work very hard and their conduct is exemplary. And I don't think that a few rotten eggs, a few rotten apples should uh, be allowed to describe the whole of the labour movement in Australia.